I welcome you all for standard 8 science class. Let us pray. God, please enlighten our mind with truth, inflame our heart with love, inspire our will with courage, enrich our life with service, pardon what we have been, sanctify what we are, and order what we shall be. Amen. Children, I hope you are all safe with presence of God's grace. I am very happy to take science class for you. Before we start our class, I would like to say something to you. If you look around your area, you will be able to observe numerous varieties of animals. In that, there are animals like amoeba which cannot be seen by our naked eye. There are animals like blue whale and elephants which are of huge size. There is some variation between animals. Why this variations? That only we are going to learn today. Today's topic is organization of life. What is organization of life? The variations of animals are not only seen in size but also in the complexity of their cells, tissues of their body structure. Yes, this is called organization of life. The biological organizations are arranged from cellular level to organism level. It goes like cell, tissue, organ, organ system and organisms. Each of this represent a level of organization and hierarchy. These organizations are of two levels. They are lower levels and higher levels of organism. First, we are going to learn about organization of cells and tissues. What is cell? Cell is the smallest structural and functional unit of living organisms and it is capable of performing specific function and it also called the building blocks of life. According to the number of cells, we can classify organisms into two types. They are unicellular organisms and multicellular organisms. Some organisms like bacteria, yeast and amoeba have a single cell body and are called as unicellular organisms. Organisms such as human beings, cows and trees are made up of large number of cells and are called multicellular organisms. Thus the body has different levels of organization. Cell makes up tissues, tissues makes up organs, and organs makes up organ systems. Based on the structural organization, organism can be classified into prokaryotes and eukaryotes. Let us learn what are prokaryotes and eukaryotes. In some of the organisms like bacteria, cyanobacteria, and mycoplasma, no true nucleus is seen. These organisms are called prokaryotes. However, in the cells of amoeba, animals and plants, a well-defined nucleus covered by membrane is seen. These organisms are called eukaryotes. Let us see one activity. Boil a hen's egg. Remove the shell. What do you observe? A white material surrounded the yellow part. White material is albumin which solidifies on boiling. The yellow part is yolk. It is a part of the single cell. You can observe this single cell without any magnifying device. You know magnifying devices, microscope. Without microscope we can see hen's egg. That is a single cell. In that we will see animal cell structure. The cell is surrounded by a membrane called cell membrane. Inside the cell membrane, fluid-like substance present that is known as cytoplasm. In the cytoplasm, many cell organelles such as mitochondria, nucleus, DNA, endoplasmic reticulum, lysosome, ribosome and Golgi apparatus are embedded. Among this cell organelles, nucleus is known as brain of the cell because 
it controls all other activities of cell organelles let us learn about different shapes and size of the cells different cells have different sizes some cells are microscopic while others are macroscopic microscopic cells are so small they cannot be seen with our naked eye they can only be viewed under the microscope some examples of microscopic cells are plant cell animal cell and bacteria macroscopic cells are large enough to see even with our eye so no need of microscope examples human egg hen egg and uh, ostrich egg among this ostrich egg is the biggest cell since cells are so small the normal units of measurements are too large to use so here we are using micron and nanometer the micron is represented by the symbol mu meter a nanometer is represented by the symbol nm the relationship between the micron and nanometer is shown below 1 mm is equal to 1000 mu meter that is 1000 micron 1 micron is equal to 1000 nanometer some examples of the size of cells are the human egg the 0.1 mm or 100 micron red blood cell is 0.007 mm let us learn about the different shapes of the cell in this picture you can see smooth muscle cell blood cells nerve cell bone cell sperm ovum and fat cell these are the different shapes of the cell which are present in human body dear children i hope you have understand today's class i would like to give homework your homework is what is organization of life what is cell what are unicellular organisms and multicellular organisms and what is prokaryote and eukaryote learn the spellings of the hard words draw animal cell structure and different shapes of the cell let us share the value today's value is unity is strength today's value is unity is strength as all organ system function together to control organism we have to give hands to our society to do good things for our nation so dear children keep in mind unity is strength thank you may god bless